Welcome to the Soulmetric PV Designer instructional video about creating roof shapes and obstructions. This video will introduce the Photovoltaic System Designer to the process of generating custom roof dimensions and defining the location and size of roof obstructions. These features are available in PV Designer version 4.5 or later. This video will demonstrate adding and moving corners, placing no module zones, and placing a photovoltaic array on a custom roof plane. The other features of the Solmetric PV Designer are demonstrated in the three-part video training series available on the Solmetric website. The first step in creating a custom roof is to define the size of the work area. The work area is the maximum rectangular area that the design will be created within. One method of defining a work area is to use the new design guide. Adjusting the roof plane dimensions will create a work area of the same dimensions. The roof plane and the work area can be readjusted at any time in the PV Designer manual mode. To adjust the roof plane and the work area, expand the layout view. Then go to the Roof Properties tab. Here, a work area can be defined that is equal to or larger than the roof plane. Notice that the roof plane is the brown shaded region and that the work area is indicated with a yellow dotted line. The corners of the roof plane are indicated with a red circle and can be selected by clicking on them. When selected, corners can be dragged to any position within the work area, but not outside of it. When selected, a corner's location can be accurately defined by entering its horizontal and vertical distance from the top left corner of the work area. New corners can be added by clicking Add Corner. Select the roof plane edge to place the corner on. Many roof shapes will require adding multiple corners. For example, a rectangular cutout can be created by adding two corners and moving them to the appropriate positions. The Roof Properties tab also displays an option to add a no module zone, which can be used to define any obstruction or an area in which modules should not be placed. To create a no module zone, press the Add No Module Zone button. Then designate the height and width of the zone and select the radial button for either a rectangular or elliptical shape. Then click inside the work area where you would like the zone to be placed. When selected, all of the details of a no-module zone can be specified. The dimensions of the zone can be adjusted. The location of the zone can be specified relative to the upper left-hand corner of the work plane. And a description of the zone can be added. Notice that adding a description of the no module zone will place a label into the layout view. The Roof Properties tab also includes the ability to enter a setback distance, which designates a uniform distance from each edge in which photovoltaic modules will not be placed. To create a setback distance, enter a value in the box and press Enter on the keyboard. To add modules to a custom roof, click the Modules tab, then press the Add Module button. Click and drag to place an array of modules. Notice that the software recognizes the roof shape, the no module zones, and the setback distance and does not place any modules that interfere with these areas. Once modules have been added to the plane, they will be entered in the design tree and energy production data will be available. Alternatively, an array may be placed using the Auto Layout tool. Press the Auto Layout button, then click the Create Array link. Again, the software will not place modules anywhere outside the roof or that will interfere with a no module zone or a setback distance. For the array size, we'll select Fill Plane Area to place the maximum number of modules. 
If further modification of the roof shape or roof features interferes with module location, the affected modules will be colored red, indicating that they should be moved or deleted. Notice that an additional skylight no module zone has been placed and that it interferes with two modules. In this case, the two conflicting modules need to be removed. Although modules can be moved anywhere within the work area, a module will be colored red, indicating a conflict with an obstruction whenever it is moved into the setback region, and also when it is moved off of the custom roof plane. Note that when a module is colored red, it is not removed from the system and energy calculations will not be affected. Additional view options are available in the Arrange View tab. In addition to visible grid lines and rulers with cursor location readout, there are now options to display edge distance values and to show corner angle values. In the Shading tab, skyline measurements from a solmetric sun eye can be placed on a custom roof plane. This allows the solar access across the array to be shown by selecting Show Insulation in the Insulation tab. The addition of skyline measurements adjusts the energy production estimates to account for shading. It is always a good idea to check for design errors. Notice here that we have a string mismatch error. This can be easily resolved by selecting the inverter and adjusting the number of modules per string. This concludes the Solmetric PV Designer instructional video about creating roof shapes and features. Solmetric is committed to ongoing feature enhancements of the PV Designer software, so please check the Solmetric website for the latest details. A free 30-day trial of the software is available for download on the Solmetric website at www.solmetric.com. Thanks for watching and learning about the Solmetric PV Designer software.